Good morning and afternoon everyone. My name is Mansoor Arora from Lepton Software and we welcome you all for today's webinar on fiber network mapping and geospatial solutions for telecom. This session will be for 30 minutes and we will have an Q&A session at the end of the presentation. I would request you all to kindly type your questions and queries in the Q&A window and we will take them after at the end of this presentation. Our speaker for the day is Mr. Sham Devi Reddy. Mr. Sham is the Director of Product Network Access at Lepton Software, responsible for product management, solutioning and pre-sales. Prior to joining Lepton, he has worked for the industry majors like Ericsson, Telcordia, ESRI in the global operations. Mr. Sham has 20 years of management consulting and pre-sales experience in telecom and geospatial industry, cutting across multiple geographies that is North America, Europe, Middle East and India. He has worked very closely with the large enterprises like Reliance Geo, British Telecom, Saudi Telecom in high profile multi million dollar engagements. Mr. Sham is a holder of PG certificate in management from Indian Institute of Management in Thor. He is a certificate holder in geomatics from IIM Remote Sensing Dehradun and a master's degree holder in environmental science from Osmania University, Hyderabad. Now I would request Mr. Sham to take the session forward with this presentation on the topic of the day. Mr. Sham. Good afternoon. Good morning to you, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to the webinar. Uh, quickly getting started uh, about Lepton software. Uh, Lepton has been in business of uh, providing geospatial solutions, uh, particularly for telecom industry for about 25 years. We've been, um, we've been working with a lot of uh, telecom customers and have got about 200 plus data analysts and data engineers working in our company in India as well as globally. We are proud partners with Google for their cloud as well as Maps platform, uh, authorized partners with Quitney Boss for the Map Info Solutions suite, and InfoVista for their wireless and uh, RF planning tools. Um, and also we are working as a close partner with the customer for Vodafone Idea to further our solutions. The products that we bring to the market are primary network access. Uh, network access is a, a geospatial inventory solution for telecom networks, both wireless, wireless and wireline. And that's our flagship product. The second product is a smart market. Smart market is a location intelligence platform, um, taking advantage of spatial as well as demographic data uh, to help businesses identify uh, locations or points of sale, a presence of points of points where they want to expand and uh, optimize their business. Smart data, we also have data products. Uh, the first data product is smart data. Smart data is a geospatial data with a lot of uh, additional demographic as economic activity, point of interest uh, information put together. Finally, we have got RF map and 3D map data products uh, for supporting the RF planning um, and wireless planning activities for RF network planning optimization. Uh, today's focus will be network access. Uh, that's where we're going to spend most of our time on. Network access is a fiber uh, network suite of solutions. It helps uh, telecom operators uh, plan, design, inventory, uh, and even operate their networks. So it supports the full life cycle journey right from planning to operations. With this product suite, uh, we're trying to address uh, uh, some of the key challenges uh, the telecom industry faces. Uh, these are obviously the capex and opex uh, pressures that we all have uh, in a highly regulated as well as competitive industry like ours. And as a part of planning and uh, operating the networks, there's a lot of site service required uh, to understand what is actually the ground reality, uh, not only to understand where the cabling and civil can be put in place, but also to understand the existing assets. Uh, and a lot of our operations uh, have paper records uh, or CAD drawings 
a lot of manual work to be done when doing planning and uh, designing. So having a solution suit that addresses these two areas using a, a computer-based uh, database, centrally management database system, is what uh, we're trying to address the challenge. And also, uh, the outside plan and inside plan records, uh, most often they're not. They are not tied together, or they're probably not managed in a single system. But managing them in a single system helps understand if there's additional capacity available in a rack uh, or a duct uh, or, or, or a cable uh, and how they're connected to each other and uh, to do a trace right from the central office building to the customer. So, one single integrated platform and allowing to manage both the OSP and ISP record helps to reduce the complexity in, in, in planning and uh, deploying the converse services. By having a single system that's uh, managing all the assets, uh, it's easy to understand uh, the asset spread, uh, how the assets are being used, and if there's additional capacity available uh, for future expansion purposes. Uh, thus enabling a lot of capital recovery. Uh, the biggest cost in a in telecom network operations is actually the civil as well as fiber layouts uh, deploying them. So knowing that there's a capacity available uh, sitting in an office, it's quite a powerful information on the finger trips, helping a lot of the capital recovery activities. Um, and using automation, um, both for planning and feasibility, uh, applying intelligent algorithms like uh, Nidus neighborhood. And, uh, and how things are connected to each other, uh, the connectivity network tracing. We can automate a lot of uh, planning as well as feasibility activities, helping cycle time uh, to accelerate revenue to technology. These are challenges and areas that we are trying to address with the solution suit for network access. <clears throat> uh, the solution suit of network access, uh, it has got uh, solutions uh, to address uh, right from planning to uh, customer experience, the whole network lifecycle journey, so to say. Uh, Smart Planner um, enables enables uh, operators to conduct planning, both strategic as well as design planning, um, using intelligent algorithms and a lot of automation put in place with a minimal input like where your customers are and where your uh, where your uh, central office is going to be located. Is, the solution will automatically try to use the routing algorithms and then um, and then build up the feeder networks as well as distribution cables as well as uh, uh, access cables connecting all the connecting all the way to the customer uh, and making sure that the whole topology is in place. of course there's some configuration rule sets that are to be fed in uh, and and the solution allows uh, allows operators to provide their own engineering rule sets based on which it would uh, and like this automation plan. A smart inventory is the bedrock of the whole thing. Uh, all the network records, uh, whether in plan status or as built status, they are centrally managed within smart inventory. It's a database of record of all the network records, both for wireless and wireline. Um, and it also enables to, uh, to capture uh, the service information as well, like, you know, um, who is connected, which customer is connected, and enabling. Uh, doing activities like you know call tracing and things like that. Uh, smart inventory uh, is both a mobile as well as a web solution. Uh, the web is where most of the planning activity is conducted, and mobile solution allows allows us to take the records that field for supporting rollout activities. Smart track is a mobile first solution uh, that allows uh, operators to conduct operations on the field, uh, like splicing or identifying something on the field, capturing a picture. And seeing what's happening on the ground and feeding back to the central office planners and designers. Smart feasibility. Once the network is built, um, with customer acquisition or client acquisition, um, once a customer calls in, um, you can quickly find out if there's a coverage available at a customer location, uh, or if it's not available to understand what is the nearest access point and find out what is the cost of building that piece of network to connect the customer. Um, supports creating BOMs and BOQs um, in an automated manner. Uh, so all it takes is doing the customer location and the nearest access point. It builds up the network and we can quickly identify. 
smart locator is a mashup of uh, multiple information, the so geospatial information, customer information, and billing information to create insights and create dashboards for for take management decisions. Uh, what you can see um, in the solution, you can um, it's a it's a geospatial solution at the base. So you see maps, you see how the whole layout is, and you see the network, the civils and cable network uh, on top of a geospatial uh, layout uh, for the outside plant. Not only you see things graphically, uh, the, the hierarchical relationship and the connectivity between uh, uh, a conduit to a manhole, uh, a duct to a conduit, or a trench and the fiber cable connecting to a splitter and splice all of that connectivity and uh, and uh, relational information uh, can be viewed uh, with symbology with attributes and things like that so both tabular as well as graphical information is what we see uh, in the outside plant view that's on the top left corner to support the field activities uh, it's a much simplified interface uh, Typically on mobile device like Android or iOS, it supports uh, the field person to identify the tickets or tasks assigned to them and do the jobs on the field, like rolling out or you know, doing any splicing or splitting activities. Circuit views. Uh, we also the system also enables uh, operators to capture the circuits, uh, like you know um, what are the What's the bandwidth you know, between two different points? What's the links and things like that? Uh, it, it, in, it by in no means is a, a complete logical inventory solution, uh, but nevertheless, uh, some operators uh, we want to capture dark fiber and then under some circuitry to, to capture the circuitry and the bandwidth, you know, the solution supports those activities too. So the inside plant, uh, it supports uh, flow plants, uh, rooms and rack views, uh, how the racking is done and uh, Quickly understand uh, if there are if there is a rack space available for future expansion and additional slotting and things like that. So Aquis are also supported with the same application. Schematics, yes, single line diagrams, uh, how things are connected uh, instead of a geographical view. Um, seeing it in a graphical single line diagram views are also supported within the solution. Of course, the flow plans you can have multiple flows. Uh, categorize the flows as flow one, flow two, and and all the different flows to the cat in a central office location. Uh, what you can do, um, you can connect the whole network uh, right from uh, central office all the way to the customer. Um, the jumpering and the port to port connectivity in, in a central office uh, and connecting the ODFs to a cable uh, and cable pairs or cable strands, uh, all of that, including splicing as well as splitting. Uh, all the way to the customer end where the customer has got the CPU. So all that port to port connectivity and port fiber strand connectivities are documented and maintained. Once you have this documented and maintained, uh, we can do tracing. Uh, we can find, pick up a particular piece of element, network element and conduct a trace. This trace uh, helps us understand how things are connected and what is the impact of something might, something going wrong or understand, uh, the downstream and upstream um, um, connectivity of the network elements. All those things can be done and uh, you can report them out uh, as well uh, in the form of CSV or uh, Of course, you can do import. Uh, there's import exports also supported. Uh, we can export things uh, into KML files or PDF documents. And if it is a graphical information or GS information, uh, if it is uh, tabular information, CSVs are supported. We also support importing uh, using a CSV uh, or a KML file. And the whole solution is built on top of a web and mobile uh, mobile platform um, using web services. So the information and the network records are available across the organization using web clients, a Chrome or Internet Explorer um, or Firefox. And in the case of mobile devices, both iOS and Android are supported as well. Uh, the solution also comes with field ready tools. Uh, the field tools, uh, we've got a lot of rich functionalities as a part of the field tool. Uh, 
we can support both offline and online. There's a lot of demands where uh, some customers want offline uh, offline management of uh, field activities in case there's no networks available, uh, both offline and on online mode for support. A lot of different things can be done using a mobile device, uh, conducting field activities, like assigning something and doing uh, the job on the field and reverting it back, saying that the job is done in the status of it. Uh, also, if there is some data to be captured from the field, data capture also could be done. And elements can be created like, you know, um, holes and uh, splices and cables. Uh, they can be created and they can be attributed. And that information is uh, directly connected to the database, central database, uh, and the information flows into the central database. Uh, the solution is deployed globally um, uh, several countries uh, of course you know majority of the footprint is india uh, because we uh, we are based in india that's where um, majority of our footprint is but nevertheless our focus is now um, is to expand globally uh, and u.s markets in the middle uh, and uh, in the caribbean markets are, are a lot of focus nowadays the solution is supporting customers having like multi-million uh, subscriber base. Uh, one of the largest uh, operators in the world, would have an idea, has got about 300 plus subscribers. So that's that's the scale of at which it has been deployed, and uh, the number of users or the concurrent users who are using the solution are more than 6,000 for the particular platform that you mentioned. So it's been tested at at one of the largest deployments globally. And it supports multiple technologies, Japan, and the uh, uh, Google TV. Um, the solution that's being used by our customers, you know, a um, lot of, lot of multi-million cable pairs also being managed. Um, and doing a quick count, we came with this one, four, four uh, million kilometer fiber pairs are being managed for the solution. And multi-million million assets as well. Uh, when assets are the, all the network elements that we're talking about. And the outcomes that we have seen uh, from our customers is uh, is about eighty percent reduction in the site survey, uh, particularly for five five fiber feasibility. Uh, all the data is there once in good place. Uh, all the geographic information and the three D information is also available in good place. So. Uh, the system is doing automated fiber feasibility and that reduces a lot of uh, time and effort for the customers. Uh, and the whole inventory is managed centrally in one single place, both OSP and ISP. Uh, so the utilization of inventory also has improved a lot um, and about 20% is what we've understood working with our customers. And for timing, uh, for time it takes for planning activity using intelligent algorithms like a nearest neighborhood and the connectivity uh, algorithms We've been able to reduce cycle time of planning to about six percent, uh, and of course, you know, having the tools and the necessary functionality for the field people, uh, the productivity of the field personnel has increased about the thirty plus percent. Those are, those are typical outcomes that we have been observing. We've been having a global footprint, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, these are some of the customers are, who have been using uh, our solution: Vodafone Idea, Tata, Jurassic, Geo. And the, these customers are ranging right from tier one to tier three, uh, and also there are a lot of uh, internet service providers too, ISPs, who have been using our solutions for, for, for all these years now. M Mansu, I think you know uh, I, I'm done with what I wanted to present, we can probably open it for uh, questions now. Uh, thank you, Mr. Shyam, for the insightful presentation. Uh, we would now begin our Q&A session and respond to your queries. I would request you all to kindly type in any queries if you have regarding this session in the Q&A window for Mr. Shyam to uh, respond to them. Also, if there are no queries, you may also type in 
uh, in the chat box that there are no queries so that we can move forward and close the session. Uh, one important thing that we probably have to mention, Mansoof, is uh, this is the introductory uh, session that we're conducting, and we intend to uh, get into details of each of the solutions that we have talked about, the smart planner, uh, the smart inventory, uh, smart feasibility, smart locator, and smart chart. Uh, yes, uh, so there is a question from Mr. Scott Cripps. He's asking, can you merge the wireless network and fiber network together in the network map? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we, we, we can capture both the wireless and wireless network together. Um, and, we, and some of our customers, they are actually using the backhaul networks. They're capturing, they're managing the backhaul networks, which is a combination of wireless and fiber together. Uh, I hope, Mr. Cripps, your uh, question is answered. Yeah, we have got another question from uh, Scott Cripps. Uh, can you inventory both wireless and fiber? Uh, the answer again is yes, both wireless and fiber. Not only can we inventory both wireless and fiber, we can also do feasibility um, for both wireless and fiber. Uh, when we say feasibility, in the case of wireline, uh, we're talking of you know providing a service like a pawn service to a customer. So if a customer is identified and uh, uh, the system or solution will will pick up the customer location and identify the nearest traffic point, nearest access point, uh, and then we can quickly understand the cost of doing it. In the case of wireless, uh, if a customer is identified and uh, it system will try to understand uh, what should be the mast height um, that will allow it to have a, a line of sight type of a signal to the nearest uh, wireless antenna. Those type of feasibility also, also can be achieved. Right. Uh, so the first point, obviously, uh, would be uh, the website. Uh, I'm trying to answer the question, uh, where can I get more information on this product? Uh, obviously, our website is the first uh, point. Um, and then you can get in touch with our marketing folks, and uh, the marketing folks will, will, will get you connected to our technical team. And then we can have a dedicated session as required. Mr. Cripps, we will also be sending you a separate email with the recording of this uh, webinar and also the email ID of the marketing team. Uh, if you're interested in our product, you can always reply us back on that uh, mail ID itself, and then we will get you connected with the technical and the sales team. Right, thank you. Thank you, Scott Cripps. I appreciate your question. I would request any other uh, guest of us over here, uh, if they have any questions, please type in. Uh, okay, Mr. Sham, I think so. There's no more questions coming in from our uh, guests. So I would like to thank you for providing us the answers to the queries of our listeners and I would also like to thank all the audience for the today. We will be sharing the recording of this session with all of you over the email for your future reference. Also we will be following with a series of network access products webinars in the coming future for you to know about our product in a better way. And if you have any queries or questions you can write to us at marketing at leptonsoftware.com. Thank you, and I have a great day ahead. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye now. Thank you, sir.